to the brew shed for the first time in about three and a half months and I'm doing a brew today guys. I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to try underletting from the uh, Bulldog Brewer to the Master Brewer and it's bloody hot. 40 degrees in here and not much different outside in all fairness. So I've got everything ready. I'll chuck the camera on the tripod and we'll take a look at this uh, underletting and we'll see if it works. You don't need to do it. I don't know what sort of... if it's going to make anything better, but... Give it a go. It's just different. I think uh, uh, my sort of way of thinking was if you wanted to do a really sort of... a lot of grain. I mean, this has got only got four and a half kilos of grain in, but, you know, if you wanted to do... A double IPA or a Imperial Stout, um, then you know you're basically going to fill up your grain basket with the grain, and it becomes a pain when you have to stir it in. So I'm just thinking that the underletting would get the water in slowly and evenly. So, so look. So I've set this up to 72 degrees, and on mine it's saying 73. So the bulldog is out. So it's connected up to the Bulldog, so the pipe's going into the pump and the Master Brewer. Top valve's turned off, bottom valve's turned off for a minute, tap's turned off. Uh, this bottom valve will be open, so I'm going to be putting the water in there. The grain is already in, waiting. So I'm going to get it on there, guys. left on the mash guys. I mash for 75 minutes because I just wanted to chill out because it's hot. Looking lovely, nice colour. I'm gonna so this was mashed at 65 75. I'm gonna mash out at 75 for 10. Then we'll uh, come back to you when we're sparging for have a, uh, to have a quick look. You've seen it before, so there won't be much footage. Charles, Willis. Right, mash out is finished, and as I normally do, I set it to go to 90C while I'm sparging. Okay. I've swapped over the small recirculation pipe for the longer sparge pipe. So, let's get a lift today. Eh? So she's draining out, and what I want to do now is just lift the sparge plate out slightly. Yeah. So it does its job. Get it as level as we can. bit of a play with this fellas and I'll be back once we're getting up to the boil. Let me give her a stir. I was looking for 26 litres. Um, Twenty six litres post boil and I've just seen it I'm pretty much bang on. I'll give her a stir and take my post boil gravity. Nice colour. It's gonna be hot in it. Take two, don't burn fingers.
Going old school guys with the hop because I want to cool this down today. So we've got the old uh, grain bag, fine mesh. I'm going to use that as my uh, hop spider. Right, we're achieving boil. I said the hops will target, they weren't the warrior. So 10 grams of warrior going in, 75 minute boil. see from there if you can see it 100 we've got a boil okay using the cooling step so I've got 22 minutes left of the steep um, for any of you out there who have a bulldog master brewer it, the control box doesn't like warm temperatures uh, can you see that? Look at that. Keep it out of the uh, keep it out of the sun. Look, the glue has come unstuck. It keeps the glass part down. Proper pants, mate. Proper pants. Um, so yeah. I'll have to get the super glue on that. Uh, otherwise. All's very good. We're steeping at 80. I'm sweating. I had quite a long boil and a long mash, so in between I've had some nice breaks. But when you actually have to do something in this heat, it gets a bit warm. Cleanup's going on. This is the new Master Brewer Immersion Chiller, which has got sort of welds there with uh, some threads, and they also supply you with the uh, hose fittings. So, all very good. Guys, we'll come back for the final numbers when it's going into the FE. Let's see if I get what I want. 20 litre batch, I want 20 litres into the FE, so I'll get 19 into the keg. So we'll see. Back in a bit. Well, we're chilling. Down to 49. And I'm just draining the hot bag. Okay, let's see where we are. Try and get a sample. Right. Yeah, it's hot. Quite a successful brew day. Everything went as planned, numbers were up. A bit more volume um, pre-boil. Uh, the uh, gravity reading pre-boil was up as well. And let's just wait and see what we get into the uh, FE. I'm looking at, I'm looking for 20 liters. So if we get that all good. Um, negatives. Well, nothing really, just sort of the controller, the glass coming out of that, coming unstuck. Gonna have to get that sorted. Um, I dropped a few things into the boil. <laughs> um, yeah, just a couple of little mishaps um, from not brewing for three and a half months. So, I think it's all good guys. We'll uh, come back to you in a second when it's all in and put to bed for our final numbers. Oh, okay. Finished out at 
this is all the gunk out the bottom, so we've got about 600 mil of gunk. And 19.4, so just over five gallons in the FE. Now we're going to get her in there and see how she goes. Um, where is? All right, yeah. This. All right, got a bit of water on the um, on there. Gave myself an electric shock. So it's not great, is it? You can see where the uh, coils are, the heating coils. Bit of this skanky gunk just comes away. That'll come out in the wash. So I'm going to give this a good clean up, guys. Get her into the uh, fridge and I'm going to be dry hopping it with uh, Jurillo and Wahiti. So we'll see where it goes. Thanks very much, fellas. Thanks for watching. Um, cheers.